man like it's a total pleasure that uh, you took the time out to jump online i mean it's it's a blessing from the universe i feel like everything comes Dude. together last year i started my journey with hyperbolic 2020 to you know make this the best decade i mean we have 10 years of epicness ahead uh in yeah. health and in wealth and um I remember you back then from all those videos i mean uh, you always <laughs> stood out as the guy transforming super saiyan i will never forget that <laughs> and uh i said to myself man i'm running this hyperbolic thing but i don't have the one that actually make you i think you made this popular across the tricking community <laughs> if i'm not mistaken and uh, i want to jump Thanks, into that man. too a little bit and mainly focus yeah for sure on giving and sharing some knowledge with like-minded warriors uh, that want to yeah, better themselves sure. i mean we all have our crazy uh, backgrounds with injuries and uh, lessons i mean for some of us tricking is a uh, just a passion uh, you know for for others is the greatest tool for self development um, and the best yeah, teacher that's true man and, um, that's what i just read at uh, i want to share this quickly before i jump into some yeah, questions sure. um i i really dig the the truth the true sampler you made 2019 and uh, it just shows your background a bit and your journey back then and um, i mean um, and i would love to dig a bit deeper into that how how did you come across to actually start trick strong was it already planned to do it like a platform to better the whole tricking community or how did it all started back then i would love to know yeah absolutely um so when I, I gotta go back. I mean, I know this is probably going to be a question later on, but I might answer a bunch of them because that's, it's all tied in. And, um, basically when I started, even before I started tricking, so I started tricking about 15 years ago now. So when I like half my life now, I'm 30. So I started when I was 15. So I'm in the middle of high school here and I, I knew what I, you know, at that time you start thinking about what you want to do, et cetera. I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field and uh, help people. And I always saw myself doing that. Um, but tricking kind of guided me to more of like physical therapy and like the physical realm of, and I knew, and, and why I love tricking so much is because it's mind and body. It's, it's connected, you know, in physical therapy, I feel the same way about that. Um, it's a way to help people overcome adversity mentally, physically, emotionally, et cetera, spiritually. Um, so, so I found that through tricking as well. So I found my career path and everything. And when I started Trick Strong, um, I, it actually came as a, it was like maybe my fourth, like, I always wanted to give back to the community, you know, because when I started, there's all these gatherings, awesome energy and everything. And like you said, like the energy of gatherings is amazing. And then, you know, it makes me turn super sane sometimes, I guess. But, um, like, it's just, I just wanted to give back to that, you know? <laughs> oh man, the videos. <laughs> yeah. Corey. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I tried, uh, I started with, uh, FOK thought gathering, you know, it's a little bit more, uh, childish, just chilling, just good time with friends, you know, build community, et cetera. Then it became focused. So it's a little more focused a little more um, towards what I wanted to do. And then I came up with Trick Strong while I was, uh, I did between my bachelor's and doctorate degree, like between um, schooling, I had like a year off and I decided to save money and travel. And I, I went to a lot of like international gatherings, etc. And I thought, you know, why not tie in my knowledge here? Because, you know, I think that's a, a more valuable way not more valuable but a very valuable way to help uh the community if if i can also create gatherings and events and seminars and etc but also tie the knowledge in of injury prevention performance uh so that's kind of where i i came in with it and um you know trick strong just was a name that kind of stuck 
and uh, it kind of the mission definitely evolved, um, but I always did see it as like an online platform to educate the treatment community on how to better their, uh, you know, performance and longevity and mindset and things of that nature. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that answered the question. <laughs> totally, totally. And um, I mean, what would interest me now and maybe the community too, like your personal training schedule now uh, or training regime compared to back then i mean you have a decade of uh, tricking in your back so obviously we adjust we learn the lessons we get injured and then we just start again um but totally like what is what is your current training regime compared like let's let's specific uh, specifically go into how many tricking sessions you have per week for instance how long are they um do you pick intensity and uh, how many conditioning sessions equal to that you had uh, you have also during the week um, that's something i would love uh, you to answer yeah so first i'll just start with uh my current uh training and why and then also go into why i chose that because that's very important it's always going to change it's always going to change based on your goals based on um, i'm a big believer in periodization you know really uh you know every athletic sport has an off season and on season and there's times for that and, and i believe not only for that but for goals and everything you know you have to be on in certain times and off in other times and, and you know rebuilding and then kind of attacking kind of thing you know so that's how i see it. and right now i'm rebuilding i'm doing a lot of uh conditioning and i actually just had my first session in a while this past saturday and uh felt great and it, i mean i feel really strong which is awesome i'm definitely more mobile and uh it's due to the training i've been doing so i've been doing a lot of um i pretty much i condition every day um and i switch between it's kind of like um i i look at i look at movement a little bit differently than i used to obviously And it's not like, I'm not doing like the bro splits anymore. You know, it's not like, oh, you know, chest and like, but you know, all that stuff. It's, it's a lot more functional movement. And um, yeah, so my training, I mean, yesterday, for example, I did um, started with some, some warm up, some like plyometric stuff. I have like a board back there where I have my workouts and I have it planned for like the next week and stuff. So it's very specific, but it, it's kind of hard to, uh, bring back right now but basically i focused on posterior chain development so a lot of deadlifts uh, i did nordics uh, nordic hamstring curls um, for you guys who are new to them check it out it's a very good exercise i mean <laughs> i just started on sunday the first time because uh, i was i was very quad dominant over the years so i'm very strong at pistol squats yeah and, uh, then i found this guy uh over no knees over toe guy i don't know if yeah you, And uh, I saw his uh, power, how he just like got fast and all his tools he used, especially mm -hmm. like those tibia, uh, tibia raises. And I mean, we right. have, the tricking community, some of those things we've seen, like for instance, the ancient video of Dogen Titan. Yeah. yeah I so I was familiar with those things, but you know, over the years you just think, yeah, you conditioned it. You don't need, it's not like you don't need to, but you think like it's fine. And then yeah you you put it out of your schedule and then you realize oh no actually i have to again put in those puzzles and add it back into my regime so that i can just maintain yeah. the power but yeah um to cut it uh short like i tried the first time now on sunday the nordics yeah. and uh it's it's a killer i mean it's in incredibly interesting it's insane. How, how much weaker my hamstrings are compared to my quads and uh, like even yeah, i mean we're just, walking forward all the time yeah. <laughs> we're going upstairs going. and you know everything is pushing we we don't pull as much and and that's my training for the past few years focusing on the posterior chain like it's really important and uh you know uh that's part of the knowledge that i'm gaining uh continue to gain i'm constantly doing research uh, on my end to better my knowledge for myself and for the community that i'm building so um But yeah, Nordics, man, <laughs> they're, they're really difficult. Are you doing it with like a, an assist band or? Uh, not yet, but uh, are you doing I, it like I just straight to, up? I have to do it. 
I just did um, three sets of eccentric, so I'm just lowering down, then I push myself back, and then I try to nice. as as slow as possible lower myself down. But um, as far for progression, nice. I will need to add a band because they're still so so hard. And um, yeah, that's 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 the yeah. thing we need to do. Dude, at the beginning of this year, I could only do one, and that was like very inconsistent, and it was like felt like my legs were gonna rip off. And I used the band and everything, and uh, a couple weeks ago, I hit a PR of eight. <laughs> so I mean, that's only a span of a few months. So it's gonna it's gonna improve, man. Like you know, you just do the training the right way, and uh, definitely do an assist band because that's gonna um, you're gonna strengthen through the full range of motion on both ends. That way you can get the the muscle coordination and everything to be able to do that. But um, but yeah, Nordics are amazing. And that's like a really like a big staple of uh, my ex, uh, my regime right now. So yesterday I did things like that. I do a lot of like banded stuff to build power because I'm looking to trick more, more often now. Um, so yeah, right now it's once a week. Uh, you know, today I'm going to do back. Tomorrow I'm going to do another leg session. Thursday, Friday, a little bit more mobility. Saturday, some tricks, Sunday, uh, chest kind of power workout. And that's kind of how my week goes right now. So, so how many, uh, tricking sessions you said you will have like in average per week currently. So currently it's one, one um, session. and I'm going to build, yeah, it's one, one week. Like I said, I'm really focused on the rebuilding right now. And, and like I said, it's, I think it's really important to do that. Um, you know, a lot of people go, 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 especially, you know, I've been tricking for 15 years, like. There's got to be times where you pull back and times where you accelerate and the accelerate is coming soon, um, you know, and I'm excited for that, but I got to give myself all the proper tools. Like I already feel it like, you know, my first session back, it felt like everything felt a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. That's great. That's great to hear. And especially, I mean, uh, I saw also some drills uh, you did like reverse sprints uphill and stuff like this also yeah. for the posture chain very very powerful I, i also started now doing more back backward sprints it looks ridiculous uh, yeah but uh, it's very effective and i got also like five percent faster just like after two sessions already like sprinting forward but i wasn't really sprinting much forward so that just shows right. the power of those of those tools and that's uh why i wanted to have you on because i mean just in general hyperbolic 2020 was started to collect the most effective not hacks but the most effective exercises i mean uh, on the youtube channel on the playlist i have on my channel um there are certain exercises like banded shoulder rehab prehab for mm -hmm. knees ankles wrists all of that stuff so i'm trying just to collect um, people that really really not just a theorists but that put stuff into practice and i mean that's just every single day man exactly <laughs> that's just a blessing that you now also started um that you you started the platform so i thought let's just see what we can do together so to, to push the community to the next next level you know and uh, definitely yeah. man and that that's definitely my goal <laughs> and keep each other accountable i love those challenges i also saw that um you you started another there's a there's another dragon the bruce lee inspired dragon flag challenge. oh yeah this thing is hard yeah and honestly all these exercises i'm doing i i actually do them every week like any any exercise like that shirts off whatever like that's me actually training and i'm like oh let's get this quick clip it's a, it's more of a chore for me honestly than anything but you know i want to show the community um you know what 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 i'm doing and um what I find effective after my years of research and everything. And, you know, exercises like that just, it, it, it helps you create that total body tension, you know, and that's so important for tricking and so important for any athletics and for life, you know, like being able to create tension within the whole body and be like one rigid um, board is obviously really important for twisting, for stability and jumping and landing, pivoting, et cetera. It's very injury preventative. And, you know, you have the negative portion, um, like you were talking about with the Nordics, like that stuff is really what's going to help protect you against injury. Yeah, especially knees. I mean, you, you, uh, 
uh, as we can see, you're also one of the guys that had this uh, experience with a knee knee injury and coming back and Absolutely. recovering. I mean, that's very common yeah. in tricking for, for trickers. And I, if you're a tall tricker, usually, like, I can see a lot of them have back problems, like disc herniations. I was one myself. So, yeah, you know, that, that tension thing and rehab, prehab is very important. And I mean, if we now for build sure. a stronger foundation for the whole community or just a, free, a, a source of information and practical, you know, somebody that not just talks it, but lives it and... and practice it and shows it that's that's amazing man and um, yeah thank you let me thank you i'm so happy to do it man it's a blessing like you know this is what i do <laughs> this is what i do now you know i'm i'm here for the community and i'm i'm really uh, looking forward to seeing it grow and seeing more people take care of themselves and their body and their mindset and nutrition every every aspect to becoming better becoming stronger Like that's that's what I want for myself and for the community. And uh, if there is, if there is, I think uh, I texted you that because that was very important for me also to get out. Because I talked with Hayden Weisman, the strong man, the destroyer yeah. about it. And uh, yeah, oh, I know about him. <laughs> so I would love to get your take on it too. Um, the, if you could choose five conditioning um, tools or exercises mm. uh, which five would you recommend every tricker or tricking athlete <sighs> yeah that's good it's a really good question um well i don't think it's possible to ignore um pistols and nordics so Yeah, that, those are two of them for sure. Uh, you know, and you know what? Um, the thing with the... Man, this is difficult, honestly. Um, <laughs> because I want to go between Nordic and single leg deadlift. The single leg deadlift is so good. Like, it's so amazing because uh, it's a swing through. And I've talked about that a lot, you know? Like, in one of the videos you pulled up from years ago of me uh, doing the single leg deadlift uh, on the YouTube thing. And I have more videos coming up on Trick Strong RX, but... Um, Yeah, I mean, the single leg deadlift is, uh, yeah, that one, yep. That that exercise is, is incredible. So honestly, that would probably be uh, above the Nordic. So if since I only have five, I have to, uh, <laughs> I'll pick this one. <laughs> I'll pick the pistol squat. Uh, they're just, they just mimic tricking so, uh, in such a great way. So those two are very high up there. Um, let's see, uh, pull up underrated i think in tricking we uh it, it's just underrated uh, the upper body i mean i know some people do it do it and do them just like for general fitness but i mean you see trickers doing like 80 percent legs and then like 20 percent other stuff like just that's what i've seen at least as far as like what i've heard people saying and what you know like just look at any combo or any trick it's very it's a coordination between your upper and lower body so um I think, you know, I'm going to give one to, to uh, pull up and another to uh, plyo push up, like a clap push up, because these are all movements that are going to mimic tricking, you know, and um, I am a really big fan of unilateral exercises. Uh, so that's why the pistol and the deadlift are really good. The unilateral meaning on one side, um, because that mimics tricking, you know, in the upper body, it's a little bit harder to do that. but um, But yeah, like those are my four and then throw in a fifth. I like hmm, any something rotational, you know, like chops and lifts. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. Uh, sorry, I know that's two, but they're usually paired. And th those are like, you know, you're going on a diagonal and that's like, of course, very functional for tricking as well. And uh, that's gonna coordinate your upper and lower body too. So yeah, chops, lifts. Deadlift or single leg deadlift. Obviously, you should be able to deadlift. <laughs> uh, single leg deadlift. Um, pistol. Plyo push up. And pull. No, that's that's good. That's good because um, I mean, just to compare, um, uh, Hayden Weisman was also very amount of a uh, fan of this Olymp. I mean, you need time to master it, like the snatch and Olympic lifting and stuff like yeah. this. 
But there are certain things that really come in hand when it comes to developing explosive strength. And uh, yeah. I've even seen uh, Cork Coxon, the legendary. Uh, he, oh, he does yeah. Olympic stuff and um, he also yeah. con conditions that way. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear your five picks, man. That's, that, was, that was a great share. Yeah, and you know these power exercises are important, really important. I do them every, you know, every conditioning session. But if you're saying for every tricker, I think that we already have a lot of explosive movement in tricking, and a lot of people don't have the strength foundation to support that. So before plyometrics, before power, you really want to build that strength foundation. If I had to give it to every tricker, that's why I chose things that were a little bit more strength based versus uh, power. You know, because because we really need that foundation to stay safe. That's why I, you know, started this platform, Trick Strong RX, because I mean, you know, we're doing all these crazy powerful movements, and there's there's not the foundation to support that and to support it within injury, um, uh, with within preventing injuries. So I mean, that's that the strength is is very important, and stability uh, as well is really important to be able to uh, to support what we do. And um, what what other challenges do you guys have uh, in in store? I mean, uh, you you mentioned that um, you want to bring every Thursday or something like this. So. Every Thursday, so two days from now, the next challenge will be up. Um, yeah, this Thursday I'm gonna do. Uh, it won't be a spoiler because unless if you you put this up really quick, but <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna do Copenhagen planks. Are you familiar with that exercise? I, I probably, see, I don't know the name, but uh, if I see it, I definitely, I will know what it is, you know. Look, look, look it up on YouTube real quick. Just so uh, we got it. We know what uh, we're talking about. So, yeah, it's just like you basically, um, you have your leg up on a platform. It's it's an amazing exercise for your core. See, your, I see. I yeah, see. So, I mean, so the, so the lifts, oh, that, nah, I don't know about that guy. That guy's formed. The second one, he, was, he looks a little unstable. We'll try the first guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy looks pretty straight. I just yeah. don't want to... And, and you know... Um, internet might get cut off. I preloaded the... Oh, I got you. Well, well, you can see what I'm talking about right in the exactly, thumbnail there. Exactly, exactly. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, so these guys are doing higher level versions of that. And you could do it on the ground and, and I'll show the progressions on this post. Uh, and what I'm going to start doing is the progressions too, because these are challenges, but I want it to be accessible to everyone. And I want people to, uh, to participate because, you know, once it, it's not even only about like, you know, um, sharing and blah, it's, it's about them doing it. You know, I really want people to actually do this stuff. And once they do it once and post it, that it's probably going to become a staple in their routine. And these are exercises that I find challenging, but valuable. That's why I'm doing the challenge. And uh, so I'm hoping people start uh, posting a little bit more because uh, these, these exercises, I know the dragon flag is pretty intimidating and stuff. Um, you know, in retrospect, I probably should have showed a bent leg version, et cetera. So this week with the Copenhagen, I'm going to show uh, different variations, different ways to do it um, that is accessible to pretty much everyone. But uh, the challenge, of course, will be the highest level you can do. Yeah. It's it's kind of a side plank variation. Uh, um, I yeah. also I do I do the starfish usually twice a week. Uh, mm -hmm. You know where you just lift the uh, you probably know starfish the starfish side plank. So variation. you're in a side plank and you lift the top leg, right? Yes, you lift the top leg and then you try to hold it and then maybe bounce a bit forward backward just try to stabilize. It's it's yeah. also a killer. It's it's a killer. Um, that oh, absolutely. That one, that one's a really good one. The, the reason I like the Copenhagen so much too, though, is that we ignore our adductors a lot. We ignore the inner thigh. Like, you know, who do you see at the gym like doing inner thigh exercises? Like no you know, one. <laughs> and, and it's so important for single leg stability. Like in our swings and stuff, people always think about the glutes, and that those are really important. Obviously, like very very important, but. The inner thigh is really important too. Um, you know, doesn't take much to realize that. You know, you have 540s, you have staying tight and twisting and hyper tricks, wipes, etc. Um, and, and a lot of people injure their groins, and this is a really good way to prevent that and to uh, become more explosive and powerful. 
So like you, you're really using like you're, you're, you know, you're squeezing your legs together. It, it's, it's very difficult. So try it next session. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I, I will, I will join the challenge. So when you post, there you go, man. I'm going to celebrate it, yeah, and, uh, join the challenge and then probably try also to launch this hyperbolic cast with this, um, with this date probably in two days I'll, nice i'll i'll be cool. a, i should be able to to get it out but uh more importantly awesome. what, what have what do you have in store in terms of events travel uh what are your goals for i mean this upcoming summer i mean i don't know where you're currently based uh i know you have i'm in atlanta currently in atlanta is it is it the place where yeah. you guys have that amazing outdoor floor yeah 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 that's right it's <laughs> about 20 feet away from me right now <laughs> oh what a blessing what a blessing that is that is amazing yeah it really is yeah the the story of the floor is actually a little bit interesting um last year at the start of the pandemic um i was like well can't go to a gym how can i train and you know that's how i always am i'm like you know how what's the solution you know um and also where i was living and where i live now i may moved a little bit but it's still in the same area Like I was like 40 minutes away from gyms. The session times were bad. They're only like an hour and a half. And it's just like a lot of time out of my day to get to and from the session. It's like, can't choose your mindset as easily because there's like traffic and accidents and all this stuff. And it's, yeah, so I was like, I guess it's time to get a floor. <laughs> and there was a really crazy deal on a spring floor. And so I kind of just snatched it up and some dude came from like, four hour drive away and brought it in his truck and and we just installed it the next day actually that night we installed it that night with the guy so, so how how do you manage it uh, i mean does it rain in your area or oh yeah it, so how do you manage that with with an outdoor floor yeah the the, the tarp uh tarps kind of suck on like i didn't know tarp sucked until i had this problem but like most tarps don't actually fully um prevent water it's crazy like no matter how much i was spending on the tarp it was like over time water would still get in so now we double tarp it um i hear the pool covers work too but i haven't tried that because i've already spent hundreds on tarps <laughs> but i have the two tarps that i have and i just lay them on top of each other it seems to work all right um honestly the main issue was and i should maybe make a video on this because when we moved to this place uh we had to the 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 land was like this it was seriously like a i'm not trying to exaggerate at least like a 25 30 degree angle we had to level the whole like 18 by 36 foot like area to uh to put the floor in so you know we're not contractors so there are a little areas that are a little uh, higher than others but self-made um, there's like pipes coming out of the house yeah you know it's definitely a natural uh i was told yesterday that it's a raw floor <laughs> but no it's amazing like it, it's flat and uh you know you got your dips here and there but it, it's it's great so when did definitely you i mean i remember so. back back a while ago uh while i was visiting the states i mean i i wasn't able to To pull through because i mean you still lived somewhere in long I no what was it long island or yeah that was when i was in school in long yeah. island new york yeah i was, was uh, far yeah i was still in school i was like still hustling from was, the city right bro i was uh in brooklyn hustling in new york letting people swipe for me so i can nice. actually use the train you know it's you know we all had those struggles is, yeah even even that that train absolutely i mean was expensive Oh yeah, the Metro card, man. MTA, not my favorite. <laughs> yeah. But what I liked about people in New York, really, whenever I ask you, oh, would you be kind uh, to to swipe for me? Nobody had an issue with it. They just swiped me in. I could take a ride. So I liked that. Yeah. I liked that um, the energy of the city it had something special. But it was wild, wild. Man, honestly, it's one of my favorite cities, especially during the summer. I really actually don't like winter at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, dude, New York City in the summer is really awesome. And that's why I do like Trick Strong during the summer over there, because it's just like the best place to be. <laughs> And um, so uh, we we can segue nicely to that. Um, are any Trick Strong events planned? Because I really, really wanted to attend one. I remember Andre called yeah. Urban. He visited you guys out there when you had this uh, trick. No, was it 
Beast? No, I'm, I'm not sure. Like that Czech yeah, house. Yeah, Beastwood. Beastwood, yeah, yes. Yeah, Beastwood, Beastwood yeah. that legendary floor where Slava Dude. also did all of that crazy shit from the walls. Like, like Dude. almost hit the ceilings and all of that stuff, man. When I saw those. Yeah, someone did a wall flip and cracked the wall. <laughs> it's like a rental and everything, too. Like, <laughs> so funny. Oh. Yeah, those are, yeah, legendary, legendary. times. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, that floor is, that floor is honestly one of the best floors I trained on. It was amazing. And that's why, I like, you know, I want, I want uh, this floor. I want to get a place at some point where I can put this floor indoors again because it, it's so flat and it's, it's just, you could train it like 2 a.m. or whenever you want. And uh, it's, yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, um, yeah, next trick, Sean. That's a great question, man. Uh, Right now, you know, I, I'm foc I'm really focused on uh, RX right now, uh, Trickstrong RX, my injury prevention platform. Um, and, you know, this thing is still going on and that makes people uncomfortable with traveling and stuff. So I kind of wait, want to wait till it's a little bit more, you know, people, people are more willing to come in. And I also, like I said, my favorite season is summer and uh, the summer is already here and, you know, still talking about increasing numbers etc there's still a lot of worry and you know if you've read any of the posts i've um you know put out recently especially during launch uh i really don't like limitations so i don't want to have an event where i'm having to like worry about like masks and capacity and, and all that stuff so i, I kind of rather just wait till it's good so i could just do it how i want to do it um so you know we're, we're looking at you know, maybe spring or summer, uh, probably next year. Cause I mean, you know, maybe, maybe winter, but I don't know though, because if hooked's the thing, I'm going there. <laughs> I mean, you guys also did some events like in Paris and other, it doesn't need to be New York or somewhere else. And I'm actually now trying to yeah. run a freedom tricking gathering out here in Serbia. We don't have any restrictions for sports and uh, nice. So no masks, no none of that crap. So as a as a someone yeah, tourist yeah. traveling inside this country, you just need to provide this um, negative test, and that's it. Then you have no quarantine, no none of that nonsense. So you just come in, and cool. that could be an option. But I don't know how many Europeans would be willing now to travel. Like you said, the people are still. That's the like, thing. That's why I'm kind of just. That's that's where I'm at right now. I'm like, I want to wait till people are like down. Like I want to make it. a a great time like i just want to make it a party <laughs> so uh yeah coming soon though and like i said i mean uh if hooked is coming up i'm going so i'll be there this this winter uh hopefully you know i don't know what's going on with that obviously but uh, as far as events planned so there's that uh i'm going to battle fury in a few weeks that's my first gathering in like two years now <laughs> and that's in uh connecticut by trick dynamics and uh, uh, i can't wait for footage of that and also just recently seen um the trick different stuff what really made me wanna you know revive that good feeling of having real people around you know like challenge each yeah. other push each other motivate each other have for fun. sure that's that's the spirit of tricking you know oh my god i love it man the, the gathering energy is like it's unbelievable and like you said, I mean, it's not only, and like, that's what I like to do with my events too. Like, it's not only like, yes, the training is fucking, it's, it's dope. It's like, it's the best, you know, super saying whatever, like it's great time. But I also like connecting on a deeper level with every trick or two, like being able to talk after the session, go out to eat, hang out, chill, and just like really, you know, see who they are behind just the, the tricks on Instagram and stuff. And, and over the years, I've definitely gotten to know a lot of the community and it's, it's been amazing. And it's just like, one of the best things like, what what actually stands out for me and why i always wanted to come to a trick strong event was um not just the the workshops or whatever you know the the standard tricking stuff but more like the random stuff like those anime challenges movie challenges yeah. acting what whatever whatever yeah. crazy stuff you know that <laughs> that would really stood out at uh from trick strong yeah. events i remember vivian also like there was there was i don't know which video it was but um that just really really motivated me to say hey damn i need to go to a freaking trickstone event 
Dude, that's what motivates me from those events, like, or from events that I've been to. Like I said, I started this, like, out of motivation from being at events and stuff. And I'm like, dude, what's the best part of these events for me? For me, it's that kind of stuff, that random, that random, like, kind of chaotic energy of just, you know, people, you know, different minds coming together and just doing something completely new and different. And that's why I had King of the Floor at the last Trick Strong 2. We had a lot, a lot more challenges, like you were saying. Um, and we do we do the games and stuff. So we don't focus so much on the battles and stuff like Trick Strong's really focused on, you know, self improvement, self growth and obviously community too. But but it's a very, um, you know, you grow from within and then spread the fire to everybody around you is how I see it. And so the 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 games, we call them games, you know, um, our battles. It's like summer games, winter games and stuff. And we just do like some challenges to push each other a little bit, but um, but it's always been about just uh, having a really good time together and vibing off each other and growing. So I mean, those are the best those are the best times for these events. Like, I love it. I can't wait. <laughs> and also, I'm just thinking because you just mentioned um, it's about you know self development, improving. I mean, not just only physically, mentally, spiritually. I mean, just generally, like everybody wants more fans wants wants to improve like gatherings wants to improve improve uh, the possibilities for athletes to travel to be sponsored to be endorsed yeah whatever. and uh, why i also started hyperbolic uh, 2020 is i mean digital assets are huge and uh, they are not yeah. really yet integrated into into the tricking community they are here in few tricking athletes that know about it and just invested themselves and now have mm -hmm. I mean just a good life you know because they're well off but uh, I wanted to do more I mean I also was fortunate to invest very early but like that's why I founded it I wanted to create those challenges I sent you the link I mean I kick-started this off with the uh, hyperbolic challenge of 100 corks in a day nobody claimed it yet that was obviously um, initiated by Matteo, the legendary Italian Goku. Uh, yeah. Inspired by his story, you know, because um, when, when I did the podcast with him, he told me that one day he just went and did 100 corks. And I said, okay, listen, uh, the first one that records 100 corks in one day, you know, gets a reward in um, bet token, which is a uh, basic attention token, which is based on Ethereum. It's also a digital asset, a cryptocurrency. And... Mm -hmm. um, you know, which is easy, you know, you just... Is this challenge still up, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's all of those challenges are still up, you know, they're still up. I will do that right now. Are still <laughs> up for the grab and uh, even um, then there is a swing challenge. I think I sent you the link. There are a couple of challenges. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. So nobody claimed those yet and I mean, they're still open and uh, with the funds from... I'm just going to show it quickly. Um, yeah, sure let me screen share so basically basic attention token so bra it's brave browser uh, I mean everybody of us uses like for instance you have a Chrome or Mozilla or whatever so brave yeah. browser is just a crypto friendly browser and if you use it you can verify yourself as a content creator and all you gotta wow. do is you very you can do that also with your channel you could do it with your with your uh, trick strong um, web page with your uh, tricking channel out here on YouTube you see it says not verified yet but as soon as you verified I could directly if you upload the video I could directly send you that bad token as a reward and what I like about it wow that's dope <laughs> yeah what I like that's about cool. it also it's called brave browser and I mean tricking represents like that bravery and all of that stuff so it goes mm -hmm very good as a uh, ghost very hand in hand with each other but right, more, right. more importantly i thought i mean you are doing challenges each week maybe we could do like a collaboration where we do a big monthly challenge where, yeah where there is a reward for the community which uh, you know if they upload the clip uh you do they can grab they can grab the cash i mean not cash but they can grab the digital asset it's up to listen, them listen man this yeah. is better than cash because <laughs> it it increases in value if you go back yeah unlike cash <laughs> exactly if you go back into like if i um let me just quickly stop this 
so if we go back to on to my youtube channel when i did the challenge last year with mateo like maybe those five bad tokens they've been just worth five dollars now they could be like worth 20 or 30 dollars you know and yeah. back then nobody was motivated because nobody understood that this thing is increasing in value each month right so it's right, still up right. for it's still up for grab so i thought to bring this back to life reactivate it and uh, you know if we do a collaboration together we, we could come up with not just like tricking challenges like 100 corks or well, yeah. there's a sw there's a this legendary swing challenge i mean nobody claimed it yet but i i know johan could just do it for fun because he oh, he's the only one really that could just go out and film like randomly 20 cork 20 swing corks. Yeah. yeah but um you know come up maybe every month with one nice challenge where you can get a reward and uh, i would love to do this as a collaboration with trick strong because you're yeah, about it. and really bring the hyperbolic challenge hyperbolic like a hyperbolic conditioning challenge and like you Dude. said now you want to bring out the copenhagen and uh, maybe do something like each month where the community can claim it and um, that's what i want to give we give back to the community because i mean investing being kind to me and uh, i mean it's just amazing opportunity to mod educate also the the community about those digital assets because it's more fun if you know you do trick or you condition you do something and uh, then you're more willing to actually uh, dig in and uh, what is this crypto thing you know because other than i know for sure i know trickers in general they don't care about cash money and all of that stuff you know yeah and finance and investing but uh, that could be a fun way to uh, bring it a with an interesting fun way you know engaging dude i'm i'm down that sounds awesome like like that's uh, like what you said for the crypto is the same reason i do the challenges to you know encourage uh you know physical fitness and conditioning for tricking rather than just the tricks you know so same thing you know if we can also and and i'm uh definitely financially inclined as well and yeah i've been you know digging into some digital assets in the past couple of years as well so um yeah this is i'm totally down and and more more importantly it usually like if the community really comes together i made a statistic so if we think about it if just every tricking like no, no not less like every what let's say 10 percent of the people 10 percent of the people from the tricking community in the forum let's just say the facebook group would use brave browser to surf like on the phone or on the laptop while they work so you get like five advertisements each hour and then brave browser rewards you because for the attention you can basically get um, the basic attention token as a reward for the attention you give to the advertisers you you don't <laughs> have to you can basically i just made the connection the the browser is connected to the to the to the crypto that's crazy <laughs> Exactly. Like to that specific crypto. I thought it was just like for all cryptos. Okay. No, no, that's that's for that specific crypto. So you, so Brave Browser, as you can see here, um, it's it's its own thing. It's like uh, Chrome, just better. You know, it has an. It looks good. Yeah, it, you see, it has a, a integrated ad blocker, so you can block yeah. ads. You get um, for every advertisement you see. Because sometimes you get those pop-ups. So like, let's say Amazon advertisers or whatever advertiser. When you open that advertisement, you get those rewards. Like I just mm. showed you earlier, you get those bad token rewards. And that's like maybe yeah, yeah. for a couple of months of just surfing and using the web browser, you get uh -huh. those rewards. So what is great, if everybody in the tricking community would use this browser, then you, can, you could fund events for free because... You don't need to spend any anything f from your own pocket. You just generate it through using a browser and uh, seeing advertisements. So that's that's just a great way to give a bit more power to to the community and to the individual to actually for sure. Bonzo. Wait, how, how wait? How long did you say that took? The the fifty eight. Uh, like maybe from November till now, but I'm okay. I'm really like I'm researching like a maniac. I'm the whole way on my phone on my laptop so i really use this browser a lot and i click on every advertisement i see and there's a hack yeah. if you always open a new tab 
and you see a new wallpaper for each time you see a new wallpaper you again get um again you get a bonus of bet token dude i have like i always have like at least 60 tabs open so uh <laughs> so that's why i'm saying Sounds... those little those little tools <laughs> those little tools and just some some gems of knowledge if if we're able to to push this into the community there's so much power lying into that because imagine only 10 of the trickers use it that that could monthly really fund some some pro athlete to fly to an event and do something there's so much power in that and nobody needs to spend a single cent from from really like you you just instead of using chrome you use something superior you use something crypto based with actually which actually is giving you something back first of all yeah you have a privacy option it blocks all ads and you don't need to you, you don't need to um, opt in for those advertisements you can block them mm. but uh, where's the point you know i mean it doesn't hurt to click on the ad i mean all the other browser browsers send you ads anyway and you don't get anything they exp exploit your 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 search um, engine oh, stuff oh for sure yeah. yeah 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 for sure so yeah that's that's would be also a nice point to finish this off just just so that we can keep engaged and and let the community decide where it goes from here i mean because we now have the power if we if we come together and really put it to work there's so much so much potential all right well i'm gonna flip it and i got a question for you <laughs> um top five digital assets to own and you know this isn't financial advice but uh just curious what you think because okay. right now i'm holding ada okay uh, and uh wondering how else because I, i i'm more on the stocks and stuff so uh crypto I'm only i call them i call them, I call them stonks i call them stonks <laughs> No, so does uh, everyone on Reddit? <laughs> I know there was this big thing uh, on Reddit with the Reddit group attacking, and they pumped Dogecoin. Then before that, they pumped XRP. Then they pumped Wall Street bets. Pumped this GameStop thing, and uh, I oh, mean, yeah, I know all about the GameStop thing. I was involved for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that's, but just that just shows how much power lies within the people. But to answer to answer your question. Uh, the five main assets. I, I, I'm just talking about long-term holds. I'm not talking about things. That's I, what I want. I quickly yeah. want to flip, flip, and make a 70x because uh, for that you need you need balls of steel and uh, loads of research. But um, yeah, five main holds which I recommend all beginners to have for like the next three to five years at least. Mm. I would just say Bitcoin for sure, and um, yeah. Bitcoin definitely and you can even hold Bitcoin in an interest savings account like BlockFi you earn 6% interest uh, which is amazing per mm. year so it just compounds yeah that's great and, and then obviously, that's not even including the value of Bitcoin going up it's just exactly right it's just that's amazing so that will that will be the obvious number one as a decentralized monetary network and store of value and hedge against inflation then the second would be ethereum uh, ethereum also because it's a decentralized financial infrastructure smart contract platform where you can literally you can sell your underwear or you know you know it's now popular with this nft thing like somebody records a freaking fart sound noise and then sells it uh, on the ethereum block yeah. you know there's so much use case for ethereum and the more right, important right. things are mastercard the banks uh they're all yeah. piling in institutions and using it for like even the Euro european central bank now issues bonds on ethereum mm. so that's why ethereum it's there uh, it's used um that will be my number two and you can also earn yield on that per year it compounds itself like 8.75 percent that's what i do i don't know if people understand how much that is Because that's like, that's a lot. <laughs> I, but like without including the value of the actual asset, like that's increasing. Insane. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I say uh, we are still so early and blessed. The people that actually know about digital assets, 
Uh, people still think they're late or some people think they're late. They only look at Bitcoin, but there's so much more to it. And um, yeah. yeah, that's why I started Hyperbolic to educate in a fun way or try to find ways how to engage, like to use the athlete maniac community, the warriors that actually don't give a crap about that. They would just, you know, like me back then, just ask somebody rather to swipe them in uh, at, the, yeah. at the train station. But uh, to, to get to number three, that would be Chainlink. Chainlink would mm. be my th third hold because uh, it's an oracle. It combines basic, basically the ancient old world, like the old ancient infrastructure, banking or financial infrastructure with the new one and real-time information. It's called an oracle mm. and it's needed where basically it's a decentralized oracle which pulls real-time data from the real world. So let's say a price from, I don't know, 10 kilograms of apples, it compares it with various different sources and then writes it into the blockchain and um, it's a very crucial connector so yeah. um, that would be my third hold a uh, long term cool um, we'll do some research on that then my fourth hold would be theta uh, theta theta t-h-e-t-a because uh, it's mm -hmm. decentralized uh, media streaming platform you can actually um, I can. Yeah, I'm gonna write those top five picks in in the uh, description of this video, and cool. all the information I'm gonna put in uh, the link of the uh, description of this video, like your social, yeah, yeah. everything. But Theta is uh, great because it's an alternative to YouTube, YouTube, and the Twitch, also crypto based, so it has its. Local... I didn't know it was like it's like a social media type platform. It's it's. Imagine a, oh, wow. a combination between Twitch and YouTube, but decentralized and with its own currency like TFU. Okay. So you can, like I just showed you, if you're verified on Brave, you can send donations. Um, mm -hmm. But if you are a streamer or media or content creator on Theta, you get TFU. You can send uh, people TFU rewards and the platform also for everybody that streams your content or watches your content. Uh, you get a kickback in T Fuel token, so that would be number four because um, we That's can see amazing. what's happening around cool. the world with, you know, censorship or people just pull down YouTube videos or whatever. Um, well, that's the crazy thing. People are trying to find. And that's it's so difficult, right? Like people are always trying to find the next uh, thing that's going to blow up. And it's like there's so many things that like could work and might not work. And it's, it's just uh, you know what you're doing is good because and i even saw uh saw a post on the tricking page on facebook like a week ago or so i forgot who said it but they were like anyone doing crypto or something like that so i mean you know at the end of the day i always say you know everyone says like tries to make generalizations about trickers like oh trickers are dope trickers or whatever I mean, at the end of the day, trickers are people, <laughs> and there's definitely people that are interested. I think in the community on in financial development, and I, and I you know, hope in the next few years it's, it's going to be more because, like you said, it's going to fund events. It's going to allow us to do this in a better way. Um, just everything we're doing, just you know, and fortunately, it's that's the way the world kind of works. Like we, you know, we need the capital to be able to fund the the things that we want. It's uh, these these massive events that we want, or these really cool events or these really cool guests or sponsors they all require um these kinds of things so i mean this is all dope information so i'm down to do the challenges like and it's so cool because now that I, that even gives me the space to make the challenges harder because i kind of there's part of me that wants to see like all right who can actually do like for example like 10 clean pull-ups like actual good form or who can like do strict, you know, strict pull-ups that plus you know thoracic extension and you know we can get into that but maybe for another day but you know like you know who can do however many pistol squats you know i did the 100 day pistol squat challenge i don't know if you saw that yeah i remember, like I, remember. I upped my game then i uh, upped my game one set on a sunday so now i do uh, four sets of 10 i used to do three sets of nice. 10 but then i saw the challenge i'm like fuck that i'm gonna do four sets now <laughs> nice yeah no that was wild man um yeah that was that was crazy <laughs> 100 days 100 pistol squats each leg um but we're stronger now you know and you 
no, that's not something I necessarily recommend, honestly, for the for the viewers. But you know, it's just something I can push myself physically, mentally, and everything. But but anyway, um, the point is that um, this seems like a really good way to entice um, challenges. So sounds like a cool collab. Yeah, we we, and, we will and, work uh, it out. Yeah. Do like a monthly. I'm very down for like a monthly strong one. Uh, we keep it creative sometimes. I still want people to still claim the previous tricking challenges before I create oh, for sure. challenges and then um, and then diversify with challenges from you like like you said like yeah more, I mean I could help form, share those previous ones more more yeah. form form based challenges where it's not about just like you wrap it and you do it and you smash it now yeah. how clean how clean do you do your pistol squad are you in a clean line are you can you actually before you do a piss squat can you sit in a resting squat comfortably before you, you know like stuff like this people people don't think about it but it's crucial i know i know uh, it's you crazy know, they, they just want to wrap out uh pistol squats but i cannot you know really do a deep deep squat and sit comfortably without like their their ankles burning oh my the front of my ankles burn and stuff like this Dude, i mean i had to that's the whole it. thing yeah. tricking is insane what we're doing is crazy it's like the epitome of athleticism and to skip all the other stuff is dangerous <laughs> and not a very good idea like that's all <laughs> i had to learn it the hard way you know i i yeah I didn't condition. I just spammed ups and didn't stretch. Didn't like I did mediocre conditioning, but I never really took the time to focus on the fundamentals, you know, and posture yeah. on a and proper range of motion, ankle, and it's just it's just the way it is. It, you learn your lessons, and then you either you you start again, and you have the guts really to go all the way back to scratch and start again you know and let the ego put the ego to the side and fortify yeah. your body again or you just give up you know and um yeah. that's that's just the thing yeah definitely what's that last pick <laughs> the last pick uh the last pick the f number five would be i know a lot of people are hating on it uh but it is cardano it is cardano ada Uh, and why <laughs> why it's Cardano Ada? Because um, um, you see, they're big in Africa. They now um, yeah. working close with the Ethiopian government, and they're expanding in Africa. And back then, Cardano actually helped me to move. I mean, I'm usually based in Cape Town, South Africa, and they helped me move out my funds out of Africa back to Europe in an easy way, you know. And uh, they're nice. cheap. They're great. Um, I would say great extension to ethereum they always consider themselves like the the new generation ethereum uh, but you you cannot deny the network effect of the ethereum alliance so the thing yeah. i still think they will have its its time and um mm -hmm. you know they're still not launched you know ethereum is already being used so the the, the point on cardano is i can still see it go to five to ten dollars um, yeah, I'm hoping, man. I mean, I'm already up uh, to two fifty percent or something like that on it. It, it will have so. it will have its time. It's just gonna it's gonna take a bit longer once they yeah. launch. Once they actually launch the smart con, they do this all of per protocol and they wait and it just takes long. But when they deliver, uh, they will have that time. I mean, undervalued in my opinion, still. Like XRP, yeah, totally. Because it's like a XRP is a centralized coin, and it's just good for fast transfer of, of funds. But they are undervalued, mm -hmm. and most of the assets I I just mentioned they're undervalued because um, we can see the the calm before the before the storm. You know, and the retail guys, the normal guys on the streets, they're not they're not buying. It's it's actually the companies, institutions, and big players buying in now and not the retail we're not in euphoria we are still in the early bull market um and summer is going to be wild for the crypto space so whoever has a chance in the next two three months to just position himself uh, will be very lucky uh and fortunate and for cardano which is also great why dig it because um, you have decentralized staking so 
you can actually take your Cardano and earn five to seven percent interest. It compounds. You get it. You get you get paid every five days, which is amazing. I mean, if you have let's say ten thousand Cardano, you know, and you get you get it in Cardano, which is also great, and that also increases in value. Yeah. So, uh, that's right, also right. a great part. And over ninety percent of the Cardano is staked, which is uh, a, a very a good sign for Cardano itself because the people trust in the project that you lock up your your capital. So you can obviously take it out at any time, like with all the other stuff, uh, like Bitcoin or Ethereum right. too. But uh, just the fact that you get paid every five days is amazing. And that that will be my five picks. I have loads of other small investments and uh, I, I mean the people that actually follow the crypto content i do they made incredible gains i mean in december i did a call for matic which is polygon um a second layer solution for ethereum because ethereum is a, a, the problem currently is uh, are those high fees and uh, that solves them mm -hmm. and i mean that was a 70x when I spoke about it, it was 0 0.02 cents, and now it's like 80 cents. So that is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a massive. I yeah. wish I saw that call, honestly. Yeah. That's and I, when I'm I, putting into a lot of other stuff. <laughs> yeah, you can. I mean, I have a Telegram group. Um, um, I always post when I do moves. Um, Add me. And let my <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send you the link, and definitely everybody is welcome cool. to join listening to this podcast. I mean, I'm here for all of you guys. We are here for all of you guys in health and in wealth, and and that goes hand in hand, you know. Absolutely. Uh, that's that's why yeah, I do this to give back. Because without tricking, to be honest, without tricking, I would have never developed discipline, research, and that seeker mindset Same, to find man. to find for every problem. Be it, be it financial, be it health related to find a solution. Like we fail and then you can either accept failure and then look for the solution and uh, try to, to get better or you remain the same. And um, that's, that's why I do this, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. I totally agree. And I think like every time you do that, uh, that pause becomes a little shorter, you know? That, that period where you're like feeling sorry for yourself and not taking action, you know, becomes shorter and shorter and we just become stronger and we, you know, we're able to, uh, you know, get back up sooner. And it's awesome, man. Man, totally I appreciate agree. this a lot. This really will kickstart my outdoor training season the grass sessions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I nice. will keep you, I will keep you posted. So, it's also about accountability. That's why I love doing those podcasts. You know, I will keep you posted, the community posted. Yeah. We all keep us engaged and, you know, accountable with the Nordics because I really want to master them. I can see some, yes. they, they, they will give so much, you know, explosive power. I know it when I, it's all about balance. Yeah. You, you also showed it on your, your promo Absolutely. video promo video for trickstorm rx you know if stuff is out of balance i mean if my quads are strong but my hams are weak uh, then it's it's not the perfect output i could have so we no, find those not only output there's a lot of research that shows that that will predispose you to injury it's not just like exactly. uh, it's not just oh it should be balanced like it's not like just a guess or some bro science it's like very hard science that shows that you know we really need those asymmetries uh fixed and, and you know balance at least more so because uh you know look at how asymmetrical tricking is you know we got to counteract with that and that's why i love the the single leg exercises single arm exercises that helps balance us out a little bit more so yeah totally man like are you, keep are you it. a proponent and fan of like both side tricking uh to to balance out to balance out some um, imbalances? I think uh, um, short answer, yes, absolutely. Do I expect people to do it? Because you know what I mean? Like like if you, for, as from a performance standpoint, if you're training the other side, there are benefits. Obviously you have a better understanding of the technique, et cetera. 
it does take a lot longer. You know, I, I think a lot of the ambi trickers would probably argue with me <laughs> and be like, nah, like I'm definitely better because of my other side. And like, if, you know, that's awesome, you know, but a lot of people, um, tricking's hard enough on one side <laughs> and, uh, time consuming. you know, I, I definitely, yeah, that's the thing, right? It's time consuming. It's resource consuming. Like, okay, you only have, let's say, and, and granted, like I've tricked every day for, you know, that's another story, but I tricked every day for a month before like two hour sessions, hardcore, everything, you know, so you can train more than this, but let's say my recommendation would be, you know, for, for most people, for optimal recovery um and it could be last sessions and then you can do more of course but i'm just saying like let's say you have like an hour and a half session or something like if you have a few days a week to trick so do you want to spend that learning b kick on the other side or you know if you're playing the long game yes you know if you're trying to progress really quickly um it's a it's a difficult call like think you should health standpoint you should do i expect people to do that from a skill set standpoint it's hard to say you know and, and that's why i really want to um that's why i push these exercises that that help balance us because it's it's a more uh, reasonable approach for most people because a lot of people want the double cork they don't want the single also cork on both sustainable. sides <laughs> right yeah and, and um and still even if you do trick on both sides uh you still do want to supplement it with the exercises and stuff so now you become like, we're already spreading our skill set. You know, you see people that are at the peak. I mean, of course, there's exceptions that are at the peak of everything, right? Like you guys, Chose and Guthrie and et cetera. But like, you know, you kind of choose what what your path is. And, you know, if you, you, know, you really want to get high level twists or you want to be more well-rounded, et cetera. And then you're going you're gonna to spread that over another side that's just a difficult act community is all i think for health yes i think it would be awesome if everyone both sides and, and i think uh in your goals like you should you know if you're trying to, try to do this as long as possible and you want to get a deeper understanding of tricking technique and everything and um and it probably in the long run will help your tricks on both sides too um i i definitely advise you to at least have basics on both sides like i think you should be able to have the basic tricks at least like b twist 540 gainer double leg things of that nature at the very least i think everyone can manage that despite their goals and uh, i think even just being able to do that is really good for the body but at the end of the day i think the most sustainable thing like you said is really just training both sides outside of tricking sessions outside of the high impact demands that we are already placing on our body and kind of put it more into more specific training so that we can counteract what we're doing as well. It would be my best answer. Yeah, Kojo, Kojo from Kojo Strict Lab mentioned something uh, similar to that. I remember him talking about it. I mean, he's also only or mostly tricking to one side, but then his prehab and rehab is um, to the point that you know, it balances out usually the stuff you destroy or you create those <laughs> imbalances. And we, we did every session you destroy stuff and then you just have to bring it back in order. It is what it is. I mean, some people don't think like this, but it, it's, it's a fact. I mean, depending on uh, if you train on a spring floor, you'll probably destroy less than if you have a hardcore <laughs> class session, you know. Well, I think that you can really prepare your body for these things and, and have a very, very long career. And, uh, and another important thing, um, that I don't want to understate is technique. You know, the cleaner your tricking technique is the less stress and by a lot, like that goes for any sport. Like if you have clean technique, you're going to be, you know, you're going to go a lot longer than somebody who's, uh, you know, yanking out landings. I even have a landing mechanics video coming on RX. Uh, talking about uh, safely landing and tricking and safely taking off, you know, plyometric video as well, where we're, we're talking about alignment and takes takeoffs and landings. And I mean, that stuff is, is super important for, for reducing the forces that we experience during tricking. So, I mean, training, you know, and Cork actually is very good at this. He, he does a lot of, um, he was doing it a lot like last year, Cork Corkson, um, uh, he was doing uh, like stick challenges and he would like be doing like crazy swing chains and then like sticking the double cork at the end, like no movement at all. And you know, look at gymnasts, like 
they're doing crazy stuff and sticking it and they're so strong because they train the skill of sticking we're cool with recovery aerials and stumbling and okay our feet made it to the ground and we wonder why there's so many knee hip ankle injuries lower back injuries etc you know i think a lot of the focus needs to also be put on the, the technique and the form um and then we can have a lot longer careers with a lot less stress with the tricks yeah there's there's definitely a thing i want to end it with and also uh just just the last point that adds nicely to that i remember Velu back then you know he used to train for instance on on like a wooden floor and he said he just wanted to land everything nicely on his toes controlled you know without his heels smashing into the ground and that yeah. just shows like what you just mentioned that landings are actually so crucial like how soft can you land how how um how much impact actually that do your joints get you know if they get less impact then obviously that's that's better for your recovery and the next day you won't be sure. destroyed you know and uh, if you can perform on hard floor on your toes that just shows you have strong an ankles and good control for landings and, for sure uh, that's that's very important yeah i mean if you're talking about what what you can do for your training um within the session you know you're talking about ambi tricks yes that's great i would put a lot of focus on the landings um more so honestly than that than, the, than the tricking on both sides like you know taking off and landing properly is uh that's where injuries happen you know it's either it's not usually in the air it's usually either when you take off in a in a bad position or when you land in a bad position so The, the better, the stronger we can get. That's why the, you know, the eccentric Nordics you're doing are amazing because um, they're teaching your body how to slow down. Like the posterior chain are, is our braking mechanism, you know? That's how we decelerate when we land. We, we decelerate our momentum and we allow our joints to um, be saved <laughs> and we put it into the muscles. And um, that's the ideal scenario where we can really like, accommodate the forces of tricking without, um, Like you said, destroying ourselves. Like, Man, so, I'm. Yeah. I may. Um, how can I say? I'm looking forward to your content, um, our future collaboration stuff and challenges. Me too, man. And uh, just generally yeah. see, see how the community evolves, and hopefully, I will be able to travel soon because I definitely uh, the this next european winter i'm not gonna spend in the cold because i'm the same i chase summer since 2012 yeah i try not to stay where it's cold so i might travel to mexico and then uh, make a trip okay. to this make a trip to the states i don't know i don't know how atlanta cool. atlanta is if the weather is nice i would love to pull through and just you know yeah uh, spend well, listen, some man we'll, we'll figure it out let's let's, let's do it let's check let's, let's figure it out <laughs> let's do it man And uh, we just yeah. stay in touch. I'm gonna wrap this recording up. Thanks for all and everybody for tuning in. Uh, check out the links in the description. Join the socials. Check out Trick Strong and uh, the Trick Strong RX program and the upcoming hyperbolic challenges too. And um, I yeah, I'm excited for that. I appreciate <laughs> you, Neil. I I wish I would have met you in person but um this is this is what we can do oh that's obviously gonna happen i wouldn't worry about that we got a we got plenty of time to do that <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah man and uh yeah i uh wish you an amazing and hyperbolic uh, rest of the day i mean out here it's uh, thank you o'clock and 30 p.m it's uh, probably just midday your side right It's 2 2 30 p.m yeah but i do have a really busy day ahead actually it's <laughs> so uh, it's i will have a hyperbolic day as you say <laughs> so i salute you brother thank you for the exchange salute and um, nothing nothing but gratitude man nothing but gratitude i it, it really like all i can say is nothing but gratitude that just sums it up because um i was looking for something that really brings things into the whole circle i don't know how to describe it spiritually or mm. whatever it is but yeah, yeah yeah things come just at the right time and uh you launching your thing and i i also think we doing this it will just um bring uh, bring good fruits and positive fruits in the future 
Listen, man, I, you know, I, I kind of want to start something similar um, after we get a little bit more uh, traction with RX. I, I kind of want to start my podcast as well. Maybe I'll have you on as well. <laughs> man, uh, it would be an honor. Honor. Yeah, awesome. Uh, look out for strong cast, guys. <laughs> strong cast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Man. Love it, man. And uh, yeah. Man, thank you links, for having me. Appreciate links, it. All the links in the description. I'm going to actually repost the challenges. I just spoke about it so that people maybe get a chance now to yeah. grab them before you grab the cock challenge. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I did a I did 100 pistols. Why not 100 corks, man? You guys better get on it before I do it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, we're looking forward to the like-minded warriors engaging in all of those beautiful things. And we keep it lean, mean, and clean, as always. Let's, let's get shredded. Let's get hyperbolic. And let's trick stronger, like you would say. And uh, Yes, let's go. That is it, man. Peace out. Good night, and uh, right. for me, actually, later. Thank night. you for having me again. Thank you, brother. Good night, peace.